I'm going to put you to the test now, Brad Johnson, and see who you're picking as the ducks of this year's draft. Yeah, well, the guys on this list here will be called out early enough. Ben Hobbs is the is the other one. If I was to select first within within the draft, I'd be going straight to, to Ben Hobbs. Looking at all the highlights of all the young players throughout the throughout the nation, I think look, there's talk that he might go early. There's some talk that he might go in the teens. But like I said, I'd be taking him because of his vision in in the contest. He can hit the short one when required, but he floats it beautifully out into open spaces the leading forward. It's like he sits it on the cloud and it just sits perfectly for the forward to mark and it's nice and soft. So I love the way he kicks the footy. I love his step in the contest and I love his vision. So if he's able to take, unless it's a cracking offer, yeah. we want to do Hobbs and that's a good offer. That looks extremely rough. 183, 79. Yeah, oh, there's a massive chance. A massive chance. The pick 10. Fremantle have selected Neil Erasmus. Well, if Wang Janine goes here. Ooh, ooh. This guy's might take Hobbs, though. <clears throat> don't, take, don't take Hobbs here. We're half a chance, you know. With pick 11, St Kilda have selected Naziah Wanganine Miller. I'm feeling a bit nervous now. I'm not normally nervous, but this would be. Well, don't, don't get the hopes of just... No, no. Big body mid-ass and supporters would die, but they finally got one. West Coast has traded their pick number 12 for pick 14. Oh, oh, four. We'll trade 14. 12. Yeah. Oh, so... Poor that way. Oh, poor you didn't get him. They'll get him. And the pick is in for the Port Adelaide Football Club, so we head back to Gill. With pick 12, Port Adelaide have selected Joshua Sin. Joshua Sin, yes. You very rarely get gifted a surprise. We got gifted a surprise. That's a great result. He's, he's going to come in physically strong. He's not going to need any work. We think we've got Oak type player. You take it. No. Just, you you've got a good player. You're happy. Yeah. You didn't think he was going to No, we're taking it. The Bombers with pick number 13 and the pick is in. With pick 13, Essendon have selected. Benjamin Hobbs. I think it's been um, on my mind for, for many years about that moment. When it reached pick 13, um, yeah, I was really hoping that I would end up at the Bombers and um, yeah, I was getting really nervous. But when my name was finally called to the Bombers, it was an amazing feeling and um, it was pretty, it was worth the wait. And yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better result. And um, yeah, it was a great, great celebration and a proud moment. So Are you excited? Oh, I'm so good. I don't know where this goes. No, oh, I haven't. Is that something? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. But apparently, the Essendon recruiters are loving it. So good. I'm so happy. Nah, great. Same, mate. That's awesome. Yeah, no, honestly. Like, that is awesome. I got to play with you all the time now. We're drafted. That's so good. Appreciate it, mate. Good boy. Yeah, no. Nice. Look, two great clubs. It's so good. Wind the clock forward. Dream time at the G. Mate, you couldn't be at a better club. Oh, nah, it's amazing. I had no idea that Essendon. I didn't really think about Essendon. Until today. He rang me. Who did he? Um, Adrian. Fedora did he? Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. What have they, what have they told you? Start times and everything? I don't know, but I'm getting into it. I don't know. Probably Monday next week. I think Dyson Heppel's coming to see me. That's bloody good. Heps. How are you? So nice to You too, bro. Congrats, man. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm stoked for you. Oh, good on you, mate. Thanks, That's mate. Here you go, bro. Oh, good good How are you? Nice to meet you. Well done. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is this is awesome. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Bridge. Nice to meet you, bro. You too. Well, we. For the boys to rock up on the draft night, it was. I think it's probably bigger than what they think. Um, for me, I left so happy. Not even, not even because my name was called out, but but, but I feel comfortable going into Essendon. Um, and I think that's the main thing for a, for a young kid, just to feel comfortable in their new working environment. And um, by those boys rocking up, that was, that was unbelievable. And um, my family was so, so proud of those boys to come as well. Hey, you going? Hey. Welcome, brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's up? Yeah, uh, Marty, manager. Oh, Marty, yeah. um, family over there. Lovely. Old man somewhere, he's Essendon supporter. Oh, so nerve wracking. Nerve wracking? Yeah. That's no, good, exciting. Any idea where we were going to take it? Nah, I had no idea. I thought I might go a couple earlier, but I was so happy when it all. Oh. 
so couldn't have, oh yeah. So the old boys are Don's supporter? Yeah, and my both grandfathers as well. They'd be charging. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. I'm smiling. Thanks boys. Good on you. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Yeah, sounds good. Good on your reason. Thanks for coming. So their first couple of weeks is pretty structured. We got them in on the Sunday night prior to them starting on the Monday to give them a tour. Um, and it just helped. They were able to walk around the place a bit more relaxed, not, not a million people trying to come up and meet them. Uh, so by the time they came in Monday, they already knew where things were and had a bit of a look around. It was a word slur. Yeah. I'm so excited. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. 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 On the first day, I, I met all the new draftees um, and moved into the Airbnb um, and then rocked up and had a bit of a tour of the facilities and yeah, pretty blown away that, that this is where I'll be, I'll be working every day and um, yeah, that was, a, that was a great moment as well and meeting all the staff and all the players, it was, yeah, it was a bit of an eye opener and um, yeah, it's, it's hard to remember the names but everyone's been yeah, awesome and yeah, it's been, it was a great first day. Watching those blokes on telly for, for five years and, and meeting the likes of Jake Stringer, um, it's a bit of a, it's, it's nerve wracking for sure, but everyone's been unbelievably um, comforting and um, awesome to me and, and allowed me to be myself. You know, then Monday, for example, had like a lot of logistic tick offs. They had to get medically screened. Um, they needed to do their first media appearance. Um, they needed to fill out finance documents, etc., to, to you know make sure that they're uh, getting paid and everything when the time comes. So there was quite a few logistic tick offs in this day and age. Obviously, there's COVID testing that they need to do. Um, they need to have explained how to do the rapid test three times a week, which I weren't so excited about, but none of us are. But it's a reality. <laughs> When Saturday, day three of being at the club, um, just done our rapid COVID testing. Um, something that we've all got to get used to now. Um, it's obviously a bit weird, but um, we've got to do it. Um, it's been really good so far at the club and get, getting to know all the boys really well. And um, I think today we're going out in the track a bit more, which will be really exciting. And yeah, can't wait for that. The first day um, when we were told that we'd be out training was really exciting. Um, probably more exciting than the first day as as I was able to go out and, and show what I've been drafted for and, um, and my strengths on the field. And even just being out with the boys, um, you get to know them a lot more, I feel like, and you get to connect with them and, and get around each other. And that was really special. And um, the first years have probably eased into it a little bit to try to help you out. And, and obviously the boys have got a bit more of a fitness base and a bit more strength than us. So we're just going through that education phase now. But yeah, it was, it was really good to get out there. And if I can match it, with those blokes at training, then it gives me a good chance to be able to, to do that um, at AFL level. So um, they've been really good um, helping me out, but then not taking it easy on me at all and, and, and hitting me hard. And, and that's what I really like in competing with those blokes. And um, yeah, just uh, leaning aside of Zach Merritt and uh, running with Darcy Parrish, it's really good. And I've learnt so much already, so I can't wait to keep doing that. I think the leadership group's been really, really good, um, but especially Dyson Heppel. Um, I've actually moved in with Dice now um, until Christmas, um, and he's been unbelievable. And, and he probably doesn't want to answer the footy-related questions when he's home, but he's been great in, in answering and just, um, yeah, giving me some advice. And um, he's obviously done it all as a career and been a captain for a long time, so it's really special to be going home with him and be under the same roof. It's pretty special. I reckon every team is now in the same boat. In a couple of weeks, every single team in the comp's going to be back. We're all starting at square one. No doubt they're going to be working just as hard as us. Everyone puts in the work in pre-season. It's about the quality and your purpose that you attack it with. Just had a good nudge at the 2K. -er. Heavy legs, everyone's cactus. Let's just switch on now for this first drill. Get some real quality and purpose out of it. Let's not waste okay. a session going forward. Yeah, the voice is well, boys. Yeah. 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 Alright, thanks for coming and welcome to Windy Hill. It's amazing, isn't it? The facilities we've got now, I'm thinking 16 premierships have come out of this place. 
um, over time, which is great. But yeah, this is um, still a really important part of our footy club, you know, kind of our spiritual home on our spiritual ground. But um, obviously now we're um, out at out at the hangar where we've obviously got the great facilities which we weren't able to do here but this is still a really important part of the club and um, that's why we're doing our induction here today is because I think it um, lends itself nicely to what we're going to do. Hopefully all of you people once you leave the Essendon Football Club will consider yourselves Essendon people no matter how many games you play, if you've been at previous clubs, how long you're here for, Essendon will always be a part of you and you guys are going to play a really important part of our footy club. At Windy Hill, it was pretty special um, actually to, to learn about the culture and the um, main thing I learnt was the footy club so much bigger than yourself as a draftee and there's so many different players and families and supporters that they're just so invested in it and um, yeah, they love the club and learning about past players that have done so much to, to develop, the, develop the club and Kevin Sheed. Kevin Sheedy's done so much as well and um, to see where the club's going, it's pretty special. The McCracken family. Really unique story with us. We're a family footy club as opposed to football clubs, traditional football clubs, Collingwood, Melbourne, Richmond, that were born out of cricket clubs. Something to do in their off season. They played footy, something to do to keep fit. Essendon, established from a McCracken family. All right, this guy up here, Robert McCracken, he was the patriarch of the family. He was a local brewer, um, hotel owner, ended up forming one of the, um, was part of CUB. So he was part of the initial CUB set up. The idea of the Essendon Football Club was born out of their family home, which was named Alsa, um, at the dinner table where they decided we need Essendon Club, we need an Essendon Football Club. Okay, this guy here is Alex McCracken, that's his son. He was the first treasurer for Essendon and came on and went on to be the first president of the VFL. This guy's Collier, that's uh, Robert's nephew, so he was the first captain of the Essendon Football Club. So the McCracken family, integral part of the Essendon Football Club and who we are today. It was a great day at Windy Hill. Um, so it was draftees, all new players to the club, so Jake Kelly is a a trade-in from Adelaide was there as well, um, and also new staff. So, Truck took everybody there through um, a bit of a history of the footy club, um, which was fantastic. Uh, he's done that presentation a few times now, but these guys would have seen it for the first time. Um, and beyond that, he had some support from Hep and Zach Merritt um, around our, our values, our team values and DNA. And they really gave some strong examples about bringing that to life. So another, uh, I think, really important component um, that I guess every, every team, every culture, um, everyone has their own unique rituals and traditions. And rituals and traditions, I think they're uh, really important in helping create a sense of belonging um, and a, a feeling of being part of something greater um, and yeah, helps, I guess, form being part of uh, a real team and, and something strong. A bit of a, a special time at the uh, start of a, um, before you run out the race onto the ground together. We stand in the locker rooms. Um, we haven't put our jumpers on yet. Um, take our warm up tops off, put them on a pile and then everyone grabs their jumper from the locker. Um, we stand in a circle and we will usually share the load on going around the circle as to what that jumper, the playing jumper means to you. Um, it's a moment of uh, real gratitude for where we are um, and an opportunity as well just to tie into our, our history, our past, all the players that have played before us um, and the guys that have made the club what it is today. And it's a, a pretty special moment right before you run out and I think when you put that jumper on, it's sort of like a, a sense of armour, like you're putting armour on together and you're going into battle. Um, so yeah, great little special moment. Something that was introduced uh, even before I got to the club eight years ago, but something I think has a, a lot of meaning uh, for a player debuting with our footy club. Obviously, you'll get a player, player number, I think we're up to about, what, 1,150, roughly? Yeah, um, so you'll get a number, but uh, this really cool uh, tradition that's grown now is that the, the club will or invite your family 
uh, immediate family or whoever you'd probably like to come um, to present your your first jumper to you in front of obviously all the boys in the footy department, which is a really special um, moment for everyone. Obviously, you're pretty nervous before your game, but it's obviously exciting, but I think it means just as much, if not more, to probably your parents or um, your immediate family that come into those rooms. You know, even beyond that, there was just a bit of mingling, you know, grabbing a coffee and, and some food, and again, just a bit more of a relationship building exercise. So, we really hope, and I know Truck's really strong on this, that, that morning um, we something that we continue to do moving forward as well. So, really, this is about welcoming everyone in here to the football club, your Bombers now, and we'll certainly, we're kind of inviting you guys to, and, to come and, and live by the DNA and the values that we've got here as a football club, but most importantly, we want you guys to actually add to it. So your individuality, your unique skill set, your personality, your the things that you're not good at and your weaknesses, we want them, we want to see all those on display. Because that uniqueness that individuals bring is what going to make us a unique football club. And a successful football club is going to be made up by the people that are within the jumper. And when I talk about the jumper, I'm meaning everybody from CEO down to the boot stutter, everybody sits within that jumper. Each and every person is a strand or a thread that makes up our jumper and our football club. So welcome you guys to the club. We want you guys to be yourselves, to struggle, to show your strengths, to make mistakes, to feel supported, to add to what we're doing here as a football club. And we need every, all of you. And I'd love nothing more than to every single one of you leave this football club, go on and do bigger and better things, but always feel like you're an Essendon person and that this is home for you. <laughs>